So this question is a translate word problem question. I know that because of the length of the question, so it's very easy to spot these. All this strategy means is that I want to make sure I'm translating as I read instead of reading the entire thing and going straight into answer mode. So let's start reading. So it says on January 1st, 2000, there were 175,000 tons of trash. I'm going to write that down. One, one, two thousand equals 175,000 tons trash in a landfill that had a capacity of 325,000 tons. I'm going to write that down. Capacity equals 325,000 tons, right? Trash. Next sentence. Each year since then, the amount of trash in the landfill increased by 7,500 tons. So we're going to go up by 7,500 tons per year. So again, I'm just writing down kind of like the notes um, the summaries of what, I, what I'm reading in each one of these sentences, especially paying attention to the quantitative information. So the next sentence says, if Y represents the time in years after January 1st, so Y equals time in years, which of the following inequalities describes the set of years where the landfill is at or above capacity? Well, to be at or above capacity, and we're talking about inequality, I need to be greater than or equal to the capacity. So that would be greater than or equal to 325,000 tons. So how do I get there? Um, I would only get there by having the amount of trash that I have now, so 175,000 tons. And then plus, I'm adding 7,500 tons to that for every year. So multiply that by Y. And then I only want this to be true or I only care about this equation or inequality once it's greater than or equal to capacity, so greater than or equal to 325, which is choice D. So you see here, all I did to solve this was truly translate. This answer is the translation of the question. It is the translation of these last three lines here.